Hi, this is the Jay, and today we're going to play some Star Drive 2. Um, so I've just picked this up today. I've had a little go on it, so I know a little bit about it, but we'll give it a go and see how well we do. So, um, play as the humans. Um, I've made a small change to them. They were good engineers, but I decided to make them eco friendly because pollution seems to really hurt in this game. Um, so, they're industrious workers, they're smart, good space fighters, professional military, and eco friendly. Um, there's quite a few options to customize. Um, creative is very expensive, but it lets you research all of your texts at the um, same time. This is just basically this game plays a bit like Moo um, 2, so you only pick one tech at a time, which can make for some interesting choices. Um, but you can always go creative, although it's a 14 point cost. So if you ever do do that, I'd recommend just going repulsive and then you can only be creative. You can try some other things and get rid of it to make your give yourself some other weaknesses and strengths but creative is pretty cool um, so that's what we're going to do so let's start with the galaxy uh, normal difficulty 5 yep I like the name um, you can have up to 100 um, but we're going to run let's run at 80 systems large galaxy <sighs> I have a classic and then, then it's going to be normal, and that'll be normal as well. Um, I'll leave the opponents, let it choose. Okay, and this is a little bit back history on the Human Empire, how it got into FTO and all that. Um, you're welcome to pause the video and read through if you want to. Okay, so let's start this off. So, you can see the research tree here. Again, said like uh, Mass of the Orion 2. There's a bunch of text that you choose through. So you can only choose one of them, which is it, which is which I really liked about the original Mass of the Orion 2, and that's the experimental text. So I have no idea what they are. There, it's interesting. It's the it's a unique thing to humans. So that's, I like that tree. Right, so first thing we'll do is I think let's get that rover bay done. Okay, so <laughs> um, the soul system is randomized every time, so you'll never have the same thing. So this time I've got two gas giants. Extremely useful. So let's see, let's send out our explorer. Okay, so you start off with an explorer and a colonizer. So what we want to do with Earth is um, actually let's leave him there. And what we want is a couple of freighters. Uh, freighter fleets are automatic and they work again. Um, they basically tra can transport food between worlds, which is really useful. So. Okay, so let's have a look at what we got in this system. Um, turn processing is really quick. I've not had any issues. Zero food produced there, unable to produce. Uh, so there's quite. Ooh, but that's got ancient androids. Um, each world, some worlds have their own thing. So with this, it's an ice age. So minus one food, prefer one minus production. But it does have artifacts. If you have, if you control four or more, four or more, you get an exploitation bonus, uh, which I don't know much about at the moment. But that's not really much use in that system at the moment. So let's head to that system. Uh. So that's just an annoying robot that says it'll look at the other uh, empires and stuff like that. Okay, those are anonymi uh, anomalies. So we've got Pearl now. Let's see if Pearl's got anything good. Ah, large Baron and a tiny asteroid. I'll check up the last system and then I'll just have to pick one of the planets, I guess. I'll check that out in a bit. So, sweet. And now I think we'll go for the farm. Because if I can get food going to the planet, the sooner I can get one of those farms established. Okay. 
Ah, it's useless for me as well. Right. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to pick. Not going to spend ages looking around for a decent star. I need some other planet. Um, the good thing with this is the negative factors can be researched out. Or terraformed out. Right. Okay, well, I think we'll go for the androids because they'll be worth it just for. You're already getting some pop. Oh, is the planet rich? Oh, no, it's poor. So, then I might be getting. Oh, sh actually, those two planets are probably better. Let's go for the huge one. It's got no bonuses and no negatives, so. Uh, I should get food. Ah, oh, there's a gravity penalty, that's fine. Okay, so we've got him there. First thing we want to build. So let's get that automated rover bay out there. Alright, and that'll take 27 turns. Um, turns in this are really quick anyway, so. Okay, so now we're expanding there. Let's get a quick look at this. Right, so I've got nothing at the moment to defend against that, but it's not really going to be that much of a threat, I don't think. Uh, it's just a creature. I'll build a couple of ships to fend it off. Uh, where's Earth? But they're not building that at the moment. Um, Right. Get a couple of corvettes and an aggressor. That'll do for now. Give me a small fleet. Okay, and the other thing you get is heroes. Um, nah. So it's good at blockade, smuggling in so it. Uh, Navigator, and he gets a unique ship as well. But I'm not interested in him at the moment. But okay, so that'll be ground forces later. So we'll put him back to Seoul for the minute. Now, actually, let's get him to explore that system or well, that one actually, because we haven't done that yet. So what we want from here is, right, um, yeah, let's go further, that's always helpful, just in case I need the fuel cells for later. Okay, so that's the first of my defensive fleet built. Okay, and those are some crystalline entities that fly around. Right. Okay, so our scouts have arrived at the Rogen system, there's another Ah, there's bugger all here. Oh, actually, tell a lie. Ooh, that thing's huge. Let's talk to that planet. Uh, right. Okay, so we got some options for a planetary event. Or we can come back later and conquer them. Which seems like it might be a good idea, because that's a 15 of 15 world. Uh, it'd be quite a good world to have. Okay, so at the moment we've got this, which has got the Rover Bay building. As there's no farming that can be done on it, but I've got things being imported anyway to that planet. I'll have the second ship ready. So it's two ships. They don't have much firepower, so I'm waiting for one more ship to be done. Right. And then I can show you the combat. Okay, so our scouts arrived in another system. Some Tundra, Baron. Um, it's got Spice and it's Tundra. It's normal G, but it's poor. But it's got the trade good. Which could be useful. Well, let's check out that system there. And we might send a colony ship there in a bit. Okay, so I've got plasma fuel cells. Um, let's get some solar armor. I quite like solar armor, it's cool. Um, 
allows you to generate energy, your armor generates en energy, which is a pretty cool concept. So once that's finished, I want that and that done. And then on my other system, right, let's have a look. I want a electronic farm as well and a base and star base. Okay, so they'll get the road of a bay in a sec. And then they'll get free production, which is cool, and the farm. Um, right, is the soul fleet complete? Yeah, it's complete now. So I'll send this fleet in and we'll take care of them. Could die. So let's head that way. Right. So, violent rays and insect rage. It's got the teeth. And I'm going to take soul attitude. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's, there's some interesting events and stuff. It does uh, it does lend a good, uh, cool feeling to the galaxy and everything. Right, what have we got? Oh, hold on. Balls. Can the fleet get back in time? Head back to Earth. Uh, how long till we get back? Right. So real system, nothing interesting there again. We'll send them to that anomaly, let's have a look at that. My fleet should arrive back soon. Okay, well, we'll see if I, anyway. They're going to engage my space, but star base, should I say. And I'll need to get another, as soon as I finish building on the surface, we'll get another colony ship out. Okay, so this is the combat. Um, the combat plays really well. It's really fun to play. So this has got no shields on it. And it's just got armor. You can see the outlay of the ship. Um, okay, so let's see. And that'll just give you the damage. Now the AI in this isn't too bad at dodging shots. As you can see. It's pretty good at it. Um... As they get closer, it's going to be much more difficult for them to do it. But yeah, like um, human players could do this as well if you're good with. Um, if you've got small light ships, you can probably dodge them and fire. They hit with beam weapons that hit like a truck. Right, how's the shields holding out on this thing? Now the hull plating is fine at the moment. Yeah, when they get into closer range, it's a lot easier for the space station to hit them with the close range weaponry. There we go, one down. And that should fall. Hopefully it doesn't last much longer. Come on, die. There we go, and he's dead. So that takes care of that. Uh, Starbase up to level one. But yeah, combat plays like that. Um, also, when you do ground combat, that's pretty good as well because you get. Uh, actually, I should be able to show you quickly. Let's see, where are we? Yes. Um, du -du -du -du. So yeah, some serial numbers from our home world. So hmm, could be interesting. Right, so I'll head them back out there and I've got this to explore so what we'll do is we've got some troops stationed on earth at the moment so what you do with these guys is go to upgrade and you can pick their loadouts so at the moment most of my inventory have got a rifle but they don't have close range weaponry so we'll give them all combat knives in case somebody gets close to them uh, he can have heavy armor. So yeah, you just pick some upgrades from him. So I'm going to take five of them. So you just launch them, you get shipped there, and you just head to there. 
Okay, so that's the crystalline fleet thing. So what I'll do is I'll send a combat fleet there sooner or later. Uh, actually, these guys are gonna, can go there now. This could go horribly right or horribly wrong. Okay, so solar armor's finished. So I've now... Huh, let's go to research lab. Always good to get a bit more research. Right, so my fleet, I'm gonna head to there. Right, and we'll pop into there. Okay, so investigate the ship. And the ground combat um, is it's basically like a little turn based squad shooter. It's pretty cool. So So life support was offline. Okay. So as you can see, bunch of bugs. Now what's cool about this is we get to engage in combat. Like, um, most comparably to XCOM. So, turn base, we wait for them to take their turn. Gives us more AP because we waited, so we'll wait a little longer, let them get into firing range. Um, are they in firing range? We... Oh, crap. That was a mistake. Let's let them get a bit more closer. Right. Okay, so this, uh, this guy. And should be able to fire again. Right. Okay, so he's done. Now this guy. Okay, then he's still got six points left, so he can fire three times. And one more time. That's done. So what we'll do is, hold on, we'll move him to there, and we'll put the shield generator there. So if the enemy try firing through there, which these guys sometimes do, have balls up, or for somebody who doesn't have, but he's got heavy armor, so that's fine. So he'll just, okay, and this guy behind him is also melee, so I think... Ah, oh, we can't. Damn it. Okay, that's going to be not useful. It's a choke point. Uh, we'll leave him there for now. Uh, why didn't the shield protect? That's ridiculous. Ugh. Who knows? Right, get him to cut the bug, then move back, then pull him out front. Uh, we can probably move forward and slash him. Uh, we'll do that later. And these guys. Okay. Shoot that one, then shoot that one. Get two shots. Yeah. <sighs> okay, this is the issue. So if we pull back and pull back. Force the guy to come closer. Okay, get him to cut him. And do it again. Has this guy got range on those guys? No. Now, with him closer, we can go like that. He can move up there, hopefully. Ugh. No, he's only got. Nah, he's not going to have enough AP left. I'll move this guy down here, because I think those guys can finish up up there. So, da ah, crap, I've lost one guy. That's fine. The loss of one guy is not too much of a problem. So I'll be able to just shoot it. One more shot. Dead. These guys can shoot that. And that's dead. So we'll now move these guys down here. Okay. Uh, okay, so he's going to engage him in close range combat. Move that guy forward. Should. Sweet. Move that guy to there. Uh, this guy one more step forward. 
That guy there and that guy there. Should get enough to get another blast off. Targeting us because this guy's right in his face. There we go. So that's them finished off. Last of them is it finished the seat. The reactor is encased in some sort of organic material. Okay. So they've got some sweet ordnance. Uh, okay. So they can plant some charges now and evac. Oh, let's finish this off then. Okay, so they were successful. And now we'll see what bonuses we get for that. So let's let it load up. Okay, encountered had to come to alien creatures our way, blah blah blah. So Okay. So this leads to So we've got fusion carbines. So we got a weapons upgrade, basically a higher tech of weapon. Um which is really, really good. So our troops, I'm hoping, should now be able to we'll get them to fall back to Earth. Okay, so the farms are now built on Earth. Um, so I'll probably get out a couple of colony ships now. So I need to set up a couple more colonies. Okay. That's dead anyway. Screw it. I'll get another exploration ship out in a bit. Alright, so my forces are nearly back, nearly back to Earth. Um, I'm not quite sure. Alright. Okay, land them all back on F. That's done. Then we'll upgrade the troops. So they can all now, instead of a laser rifle, give them all fusion carbines. Which do. Three round bow, so one to five each round does six thermal damage. Okay, that's much more useful. Okay, well, they're not for that. Fusion carbine, fusion carbine, and sweet. So they've now got fusion carbines on some of them. Right, so we've got another colony ship being built. Um, do you know what? That'll probably be a decent place to, uh, to land at. How's Earth doing for food production? Five, that's fine. Because I think this planet now has. Starbase, yeah, that's fine. It's got uh, the hydroponics, so. Right. Oh. Okay, so they haven't got the fuel, that's fine. Oh, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, so that's annoying. Um. Alright. Uh, fusion engines. Uh. Uh, what do they offer later on? Might wait for antimatter reactors, to be honest. I've got loads of weapons that come later, so I think I can just wait for any amount of reactors. Uh, let's go for. Uh, well, we'll go for a fusion beam skirt. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What we can do with this fleet is when it's back into space. Fjord. We'll send it to have a look at that. Let's see what's in that. Derelict Origins. 
the derelict's or origins. Ugh. Okay, so we do the way team, right? So what we'll do is to Earth. And we'll launch five troops again. Right, now we'll head to the origins. Right, that'll take a couple of turns. And we'll find out what's there. Right. Five troops, sweet. So they're all gonna head down and we'll do this fight and see what this gets us. Uh, I think this is a planetary fight or installation or something, I have no idea. Right. Way team, we've made an entry into the facility. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh. Okay. Wow, there is a lot, a lot of. Okay, that's slightly annoying. Can I rotate the camera? Ah, that's better. I need to hold the middle mouse button in. Right, so let's move him forward a bit more, him to there, and him to there. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, troops at the front, what are they carrying? Right, what are you guys carrying? So, plasma rifles. Can't really see, can I? Ah, it's useless. Let's medic him up. Okay. Medic him up as well. And let's go at the back. Sweet. So they're down to fortify that bad boy. Yeesh, he's nearly dead. Not good. Kits are on cooldown. Well, I've got two shots from that gun. Okay. Um, these medical kits on cooldown. Right, let's try and get these guys to melee that thing to death. See if him going in front will stop him from. Sweet. So that saved him. Oh, that's going to take quite a few turns. Uh. All right. He's got that. He's got his own medical kit. Right, okay, so this guy needs to be forward one. Right. Okay. Again, there we go. Right, so we want to try and move to the north. Take the drone console. And uh, uh, problem is, is we're gonna, well, we'll get the drones, and they'll be able to soften up the aliens at least. Okay, so let's move to here. Right, move to there, to there, and you to there. Okay. Right, I want to keep those drones intact, preferably, because they've got quite a lot of firepower. There. 
guys have got less health to the back. But not least, him. <laughs> okay. Well, they're not moving down, so that's good. Hmm. So we want more turns. So we got more movements, points. Let's get the shield in front of us. not finished him off so it doesn't matter and then he'll just go in and stab him all right sweet so get this guy to move to the console here right. do we stab it going to assume that there we go Right, so got those drones recognizing us as friendly. Should have really targeted that first, to be honest, then. That's going to take a while. So we'll move him down. Ah, it's a bit. Basically, just run as far as you freaking can. So yeah, these tactical missions actually take a bit of time. Which is pretty cool. Well, I'm not quite sure yellow was the best choice for... Um, well... <laughs> being able to see what you're doing. It's okay in a white background, well, on white tiles, but... All these dark coloured tiles, you can't really see that much. Right. So, turn. Get everybody down here. Let's go. Let's have another turn there. I get more movement points. Just to save freaking time. I need to heal them before I go anywhere, anyway. I don't know if they're turn cooldown for the freaking medikits is really worth it though. It's a bit ridiculous. Let's get him. Freaking fiddly control system. Right, so. Okay. 
kid. Let's get them all up to near enough full health. Everybody's near full health now. So move him to. Wow, this is fiddly as hell. It's good system. It's fun being able to do these type of missions, don't get me wrong, but the control system's a wee bit fiddly. Okay, so there's now a shed load of us. So what I want to do is... Actually, I want to just open the panel and let the AI go in first. So these guys go here, Millie goes there, okay let's let him in, be nice if the AI would do something about now, okay. Is immune. Ooh. Huh. That's fine then. I thought they were, thought they were immune to damage from it there. Huh? Okay, so we'll move him to there. Move him to there. Okay. Oh, he's trapped. So, no, he's not. Move him to there. And get him out of there. Um, I should move down where it's fine. Okay, so we'll. Sweet. Ugh, I can't really tell if it's in. Doesn't look like it's in firing range. Right. Let's move him to back there. No, he's not in firing range, so I need to move to there. Da, send turn for now. Don't move closer. Right. Okay, he's got two shots, so that's cool. As cool as it is getting these guys, they aren't really doing much. They're just, the guess, acting as buffers for the damage. Right, well, here. Let's move him to there. I'll move him out of the way in a bit. Eesh, not good, not good. We can move this marine back a bit. Wow, that thing is hard as hell. Ask oh, us the queen. Right. That's troop. Has he got any moves left? No, bulls. Well, that's one of my troops dead. Not a global decent weapon, thank God. Come on, finish this. Ah, that's pointless, even if I move. Crap. Right. Put one more to that. So that's the queen down with. Balls, this is not going well. And free for the knife. Okay, so 
they've got two moves. Move him out of the way. Get him to go in close range. So at least gives me a buffer. They might target him. Right. Okay, let's finish this off. Sweet. This guy's still got a little bit of health left. Let's get him to move into combat, so... Oh, crap. Balls that finished him off. But we could at least get a few shots off. There we go. And this guy should be able to stab them. Right. This guy does not have much health left. But... Can you hit that? Yeah, you can hit that one at least. It's going to kill him. Oh no. Still alive, I'll be damned. Right, finish this. That, 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 fire. Okay, this one, fire. Ah, uh, buggy system. Right, we'll move him forward a little bit. Finish that off. And this guy will stab this one to death. Wow, that was quite a long mission, to be honest. So, let's see what we got for that. That definitely best be worth it, because that took ages. So, we'll have a look. Okay, and uh, turn's finished. Right. Uh, the, the ancient research... I'm sure our troops research base has been abandoned for a long time. According to the records here, da, 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 da. okay. Wow, 500 RP, nice. Okay. Yeah, I had to create nuke the site from orbit. So. This has been a quick look at, well, this is my first game of, well, one of my first games of this. I've had a few goes, but I'll keep the series going. Um, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe.